Turning water into wine? That's a miracle. But turning sugar into alcohol? That's nature. Stick around and we'll tell you how brewers manipulate microorganisms to turn basic ingredients into beautiful beers. Hey everyone, Matt here. The Speaking of Chemistry crew was recently at the American Chemical Society National Meeting in Denver, and we took a little field trip to one of the Mile High City's many breweries. We went to Renegade Brewing Company to talk to Max Filter, Renegade's dude of brews, about grain, hops, water, and his favorite topic, yeast. Yeast is one of the most amazing organisms on the planet. Brewers dump yeast into a mixture of sugar from malted grain and water, which is called wort. Yeast cells eat the sugar and use it in two different ways. When there's oxygen available, a yeast cell's biological alarm clock goes off and it divides into two cells. When there's no oxygen available, yeast cells start fermenting sugar and churning out ethanol and carbon dioxide. Look at all that churning! Renegade can save money by buying less yeast and then pumping oxygen into their wort. Their yeasts then divide into an army of fermenters. But that also reduces the amount of sugar available later for fermentation. That means less alcohol by volume. If we over-oxygenate our beer, the yeast is going to consume sugar that I want made into alcohol and use it for its own selfish purposes. Renegades found a balance to grow the right amount of yeast to get the right amount of alcohol in their beers. But just how much yeast gets pitched into those stainless steel tanks? I mean, we're pitching billions and billions of yeast cells. Now, it may sound like people have brewing down to a science, but you can't have a craft beer without art. So where's that balance between the art and the science? You can do the science, you can do the math, but some of the breweries, some of the biggest breweries in the world with some of the best labs are still being outshone by some tiny little breweries that just happen to have a feel for it. It is, you can go both ways with it and you can do it right both ways, but it's all about passion at the end of the day. That's all for this Speaking of Chemistry. If you've got a passion for beer science, check out this ACX Reactions video on craft brewing. And don't forget our Speaking of Chemistry about how fruit flies could help make better beer. And feel free to share your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and share.